Well, hello, everybody. So, we've resorted to recording in the laundry room. It's not very big in here, but there's there's no no privacy here. So, um, this this video is going to be taking Jasmine for a walk and um, more unpacking. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Completely unprepared for having to walk the dog. <clears throat> Looking for a garbage can to throw the poop in. Come on, Jess. But they have a car wash place here. How cool is that? So, vacuums and a place to wash your car. And it's just around the corner from our apartment. Come on. And over there is the water. The house is on the other side of a waterway. Here they've got a big place to store bicycles. Come on, Jess. See, look at that. Very cool. Come on, Jess. Hi. Come on, Jess. There's my very crabby husband. The stray cat. She's being an asshole. Uh, Dad and Jesse went to take the U-Haul back. And she didn't want to come up the stairs. Yeah, there they go. Say bye. <sighs> My morning routine is all jacked up. You know, normally a cup of coffee and a smoke while I wait for my pills to kick in. But no, Little Miss Princess hasn't pooped in two days. So, took her out, forgot to bring a bag. I'm in my robe, and it's Florida, so hot. <sighs> Can't go without a robe, because I don't have on a bra. Yeah, that's not a good first impression. And then, of course, she does poop, don't have a bag. But luckily, we have this feature on our porch um, where the screen comes back. <laughs> so, Brian threw a bag down to me. But, of course, he threw one with a big old gaping hole in it, which is only good for, you know, one pickup. And you can't tie it in a knot for the smell because it's got a big old hole in it. So, I had to come back up the stairs get another bag to, you know, seal in the scent. And then immediately, Mr. Clean is, you are not bringing that dog shit up here. You need to take it to the dumpster. Well, I don't know where that is. Well, you're not keeping it in here. Well, can I put it out? In the, no, you can't put it out in the hallway until you, no. No, you go do it now. But I'm in my robe and I'm hot. No, I'm not having dog shit outside in the hallway. Oh my God. So, yeah, grab more bags. And then that's when we took our little excursion and found the car wash right down there at the end of those um, 
buildings with a garbage can. So yeah, and then we got back and they're trying to leave to go and she won't come up the stairs because daddy's leaving and where's he going and I want to go with because I love car rides. Yep, car ride. Mm -hmm. They'll be back. We're going to take that walking trail at some point. Yeah. So, anyway. Good times. Good times were had by all. But, yeah. I got to sleep in a little. Nobody woke me up. It was like 9.30 in the morning, I guess. That feels good. So, yeah. All right. I still haven't had any coffee, so. Uh, there we go. And, and then of course, you know, with all that and the huffing and puffing from up and down the stairs, wearing, you know, basically a winter coat because I have my robe on, I get upstairs and it's, um, you know, him saying, thank you for making coffee and thank you for buying sugar and thank you for getting your cereal and thank, I'm like, Brian, Brian, I, I thank you. Just woke up and I haven't even looked around. But thank you. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Anyway. So apparently, after he's done dropping off the truck, we're going to go to IKEA because we have no storage in the kitchen for our dishes and things. Gotta go there. Oh, you want a tour of how tiny the kitchen is? Sure, let's show you. All right. Now, you guys, you're familiar with our last kitchen, which was enormous. Um, we had empty cupboards, actually, but okay, so here we go. <clears throat> There's a fridge. Got a little bit over there. And a drawer and a cupboard. Little pantry. I can't get in it. Because make sure you put all the boxes in front of all the closets where the stuff's going to go so that you have to move everything in order to put it away. Okay, and then we have one decent overhead, one little one. Yeah. Drawers. We've got very limited drawers and then under the sink so I mean right away you've got like your cooking utensils and silverware and then I suppose pot holders and then what pots and pans and um I would say dishes, plates, and glasses, or possibly, possibly glasses up there. I don't know. But yeah, there's nowhere to put jack shit. So he wants to get uh, something for putting dishes on, I guess. Our freezer is prominently displayed right here. And okay. we made it fit as best we could. We've got three of the four matching recliners in here. So it works okay. And then there's that bookcase that we had in the bedroom that I love. We kept that. Okay. And here's our dining room. Took a leaf out. So the extra two dining room chairs are in my craft room. And then here's our buffet. Okay. We did put um, He's been hauling this thing around since his first marriage. It's not my taste, but yeah, he, he's obsessed with it. So we got that. Here's Quinn's bedroom dresser. 
and mirror right inside the entryway. That works. It works. Here's our laundry room. So that works. It works. It works. And let's see. A um, couple of end tables out here to make it nice and congested. And then the kids' room. Jesse's dresser and Stan Quinn's desk for doing his homework because he actually does his homework. And then where's the light? Here's Jesse is inside of his closet. So oh, that's fine. And then oops. Here, the kids have the big bathroom. So that's thing. I, I don't, that must be Quinn's closet. All right, there we go. It's a little crammed, but not bad at all. Could be way worse. And kept that table, that was my mom's. I love that table, so we still have that. Not not digging the gigantic two foot square end tables we have because they take up so much room. We've got that. My our dragonfly bird bath. Here's that antique side by side in the hallway. Yeah, and that really loud noise is the air conditioner right there. And you guys have seen that. We don't need to see the bedroom again, but I'll show you anyway. So, yeah. It all fits. With, you know, decent amount of space. Okay. So, yeah, that worked out okay. And then, this is where we left off. Trying to figure out how to fit all this shit in here. Because there's that fourth recliner that I had to put in here but working on it thinking I don't know see it's not it wouldn't it's just because I need to be able to get my computer on my desk and monitors without taking up the whole desk so that's why I want something over there so that like I was I can just turn and see but if I push that over so that I can use this end then the chair doesn't fit it blocks the door and if I move that over there then I don't have anything for the monitors because then it's too tall and the monitors don't fit inside the cubby so I don't know Play with it a little bit more and try and figure it out. I have to get it figured out for tomorrow because I gotta work. So I don't know. Plus the desk, you've got drawers and cabinets on both sides. So the only side that isn't functional is the short side to put that up against a wall. Maybe I could turn it, kind of it come out the window. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure it out in my head. But yeah, giant bus. I, I need, I need more will to live, aka coffee and smokes. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Okay. They disappeared hours ago to take the truck back, and supposedly coming back so we can go to IKEA. I think he went to IKEA without me, and I'm pissed. So. Back to work in here, I guess. Let's see, where can I hook you up so you can see what's going on? Um, let's see here. Uh, let's see. That's no good. How about... Hang on. Let's see. Does this work? I guess.
trying to figure this out still. Oh, hang on, they're calling. All right, total bullshit. So they're, they're over at the other house cutting the grass. Nobody's coming to get me. The fuck. So anyway, um, let's try and figure this out. All right. Um, we're going to use pure adrenaline to move this desk. This 8,000 pound desk. Because here's the idea now. I need to get some shit out of this room so I can move. I did move a couple things before recording. Just chairs and shit because there's too much shit in here to move. So I need the L-shaped thing so that I can, you know, work on my crafts and then have my monitors on the side off my table. So I need something there and then the desk coming out. And that freaking chair has to be in here. And if I pull it forward, it blocks the door. It doesn't work. So I'm thinking this cubby slide over here, push the desk toward the chair. That thing, find somewhere else for it. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Possibly that would work. I don't know. I have to measure. Gotta get my tape measure out. But, um, so that's the thought right now. So it's kind of the same as it was before, but then I can't go this way with the other one because it'll block the window and the natural light, whatever. So that's the plan for right now. Let's give it a try. And excuse if my, my boobs show because I'm wearing like loose fitting clothes because it's, you know, I start to sweat, but he's also got the air conditioner at 66. So I'm also kind of freezing. So I'm hot and cold at the same time. It's like being ill. Physically ill, not mentally. The mentally, that's an ongoing issue. So let's try this out. And again, I've got like all of these um, stacks of pictures that are getting in my way. So I'm going to just start loading shit out into the hallway. Ooh, seasick. Okay, just so I can like move a little. And you can tell I'm a little irritated because I really was looking forward to going to Ikea. But apparently we're cutting the grass today. So, let me see what I can do to have some room to move around in here. All right, let's see. One tip, what I did, I used pink duct tape either to close the box or just a piece of it on the box so that I knew which ones were mine easily. I had pink. All right, this is a lot of closet, like my actual clothing closet stuff. So let me just, there. As much stuff that doesn't belong in this room, the better. So this is like bathroom. my closet. Get it out of here.
bubble mailers are great for fragile stuff. So it's gonna be hung in my window again, I'm sure. We'll just find a spot for it. organizers I make for um, this one's for my socks because you never know when you get hot and you need a fan you spray water on yourself there was actually a going away gift from my co-workers when I was moving to Florida all right here's my box of hardware for the closet all of my hooks and all that perfect and nail polish okay another big box done sunscreen and stuff to go to the pool. Right? Okay. And for now, I put my diamond painting pens in a drawer so they don't get shuffled around. Okay. It's in here. This is all of my office supplies and photo frames. And See where am I gonna put that stuff? For now, I think I will stick. Let's see here. Oh, this fell apart. down here. The second side of this broke off. So let's fix it and organize it as long as we're down here. Let's see. Stuff that's actually for work related versus personal. Let's see. Well this side I gotta pull out because Mm-hmm. 
I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so the um, look at my the bar here. Let me let me lower you so that I can see. All right, the bar going across here. The boards are that it just barely catches on either side. So what I did was I just wrapped some white duct tape around the end several times around and then I'm folding it over and I'm going to wrap it again it gives me a little more length let's see here there we go just a couple more times around So it gives me a nice fat and that's a little longer than it used to be and I'm going to do it to both sides and then hopefully that will keep it from shifting side to side and falling in. So that's the idea. So we'll just put this on here Oh, and go a little further past it. Okay. And just wrap, wrap, wrap. Tear it off. Fold that over. See how it's there? But I'm going to fold it so that I've got a little extra at the end. And then I'll wrap it again. Try that and see if it's firm in there. Firmin, we all know that name. There we go. Yep, nice and snug now. 
Okay, perfect. Might as well dump the dirt out. Okay, we're good. Now, I think I'm gonna be sitting on that side of the desk. So I want my work related files on that side and my personal files toward the door. Let me get this in first. See? Yeah, you can see. Okay. Move the black so I can sit down instead of squatting in there. Alright, I think damn thing's crooked. No, I think we're okay. Alright. business info. I'm going to put college with work because if I need it for my resume, whatever. And Okay, that cut off on me because I was saving to the SD card and it was full. So, anyway, let's get back to it. So, let's try to move this shit around. I've got, this is all office stuff. I'm going to throw it down in the filing cabinet, whatever I can fit. Whatever I can't, I'm going to go throw it on the bed in the other room. I've got to get it as much done as I can before he gets home. All right, here we go. Let's see. I think you can kind of see where I'm at with that. Okay.
to get a lot of boob shots because my shirt's big. Okay. picture. Hey, you guys want to see when I'm skinny? Look at her waist. You see that? I actually had a waist. Yeah. And look at that tan. Boy, was I tan. Anyway. Yeah, then I quit smoking and depression hit and I gained 60, 70, 80 pounds. I don't know how much, but it was a lot. Okay. All right, pictures. I'm going to just go put these somewhere else for the moment. Let's see here. Just pile these up out somewhere else. Unused ones. Pictures we'll go put somewhere else too. There's another one. Binders. For now, let's see if they fit at all in here. Yeah. Okay. A couple down here in the styling cabinet. And there we go. 
go. And we're down here. Okay. Now I've got an empty tin. Oh, here's another picture. We'll just move this shit for now. get all those uh, pile of pictures out from the corner so that I can maneuver but actually I've got this I've got this stack of boxes that's making it difficult too so let me get rid of that shit here's another family picture there we go okay Let's see what's in here. I think this is my yarn from Myth Coffee. And this is one of those Velcro boxes from Michael's. Yes, it is my yarn. Um, Jan sent me these giant elastic bands because it's overloaded and I just put those around it to keep it shut, which worked great. Thank you, Jan. All right, let's see where we're going to put this. There in the closet just for now. And what's in here? Ooh, you heavy. Alright. This is scratch art and photos. I've got a scrapbooking corner in my closet. Let's put this up here. I don't need to get to those anytime soon because I don't scrapbook anymore. So we're going to just put them on the floor of the closet. They're heavy. Stack everything else on top. I'm sure other people have them but they're file boxes for your photos and then I actually went through and put the dates they're all chronological with post-it notes around them so I know when they're from but I haven't scrapbooked in many many years and then photos on CD. Alright. This is a fun little book when you're in a surly mood. Creative cursing. So you just flip each side. You're such a piss glob. Moving is pretty much like a wiener skank. Okay. This is computer related, so we will put that there. Glue. Got a hot glue gun, hot glue guns down here. We'll stick it with that for now. And I got another empty box. Okay. Put the book over with the rest of my books. And I'll put my scratch art over here to get it out of the way. And Vicky sent me the clear 
filters. Let's see if I can fit those in the drawer. Yeah, if I get rid of this binder. is a drum down there in my filing cabinet. Okay. Um, keep moving. Got another box. Isn't this fun, kids? It's like you're here helping me. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what's in this one. Oh, goody. I don't have a whip out. I found the diamonds for, I think this is the mermaid. Not the best one, but hey, whatever. Make you angry, you can take it out and uh, paint with diamonds. So, put that there. All right. Oh, my diamonds are in here. Okay, so this is like the golden box. This one, we're actually gonna cover it back up. I'm not ready. I don't know where I'm going with this stuff yet. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, see I labeled it. Wendy's diamond painting stuff. We're going to put that over here. For now. Okay, now. Got that cleared out. One more box down here. Painting trays and books. If I get the books, take those, put them out in the living room by those books because I don't have room for all these books right now. My Jolly Ranchers. I don't like watermelon, so I pull all the watermelons out. And then when I get desperate, I actually eat the watermelon ones, but not my favorite. All right, so these are my leftover drills and my craft mates and my map pens. Yes, I brought the maps. Okay. All right, I gotta show you something. Jasmine found a new place for her her bed. Let's let's take a road trip. Hold on, I'm gonna pause so you don't have to listen to the squeaky squeak. Okay, so look where she is. Is that your new bed under the coffee table? You look a little depressed again because daddy's not here right i know he'll be back a couple more hours he's cutting the grass all right can't wait till that house closes so we don't go over there and cut the grass anymore not that i do it but no okay all right back to this oh here's another tip especially if you're in an apartment works for a house too all those Flip-flops Jan sent me. Now, I, I can cut them, but I was in a hurry. I taped a flip-flop between the furniture and the walls so that I don't end up wrecking the paint like I did at the other house. But yes, um, when I have more time, I can cut just little pieces so that I don't have to use a whole flip-flop for every corner. But there you go. Protect your walls. Works on the back of headboards too, kids. Just saying. There she is. Hi, babes. Okay. Now, let's see. This box, again, it's all diamond painting stuff. We're just going to put it aside for now. Shove it in the closet. But we're going to take the Jolly Ranchers out because we need those. Okay. Oh, I can put the trays back in. My extra wallet, I'm going to go stick that in the bedroom.
And then this I'm just going to shove in the closet for the moment until I get the furniture where I need it, and then we'll work on the closet. All right. And this I'm Get rid of this. Get it out. Not really. Add it in. Somehow I'm to get it back out. Put this over here for now. Okay. Let's clear out those that shit from the corner so I can maneuver. I need to plug in the phone again. It's dead. Okay, hold on. Okay. Here we go. Safety first. Gotta get my tape measure, and I'm thinking move, slide this down, move the desk down that way by the chair, and we'll figure that one out later. So. idea if it was on wheels. Hmm. Yeah. But you can't now. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Ah, whatever. Alright, now. Let's see here. There's a four plug here, which is like all the power you need, and I'm gonna end up covering it. But let's see here. Power strips. Where did I put those? I know I had them. I stuck them somewhere. What did I do with them? These um, power strips, you know, these are the kind we're used to. Stick way the hell out from the wall. If you haven't shopped power strips lately, they've got these now that fit flat against the wall and angle out. So I can do that and angle it back behind, around, and then put the power strip in the cubby to be able to plug in all the computer stuff. Most of you probably know this, but some of us never get out, so. Velcro for underneath my desk. Darn it. That's the kind I want to. See, it's got, this is the one that 
fits under my desk. There. Now I gotta find a different one like that. Alright, got lucky. Found another one. We'll use this one. really rickety. I should really put some bow brackets on the corners of it. But we're not gonna now ideally I want to move my desk over so that I clear that last cubby enough to be able to use it and it's a heavy mofo so now I got to find the box that has the sliders on it for moving furniture and carpet um, yeah or we'll figure out some other way of doing it there's probably something else that could be done like cardboard might work probably not no it'll just break through the cardboard um, I'll figure something out though. Where there's a will, there's a way. Let's see, we get the um, get everything out from underneath the desk first. And then of course I got this rug that's only so big that I've got to get up over the top of or move it over there. Probably be better over there. Yeah, okay. We'll do that. We're going to just fold it back for now. And attempt to move this sucker. Now, if we probably take the drawers out, that would make it a whole lot lighter. These drawers aren't going to be heavy. This one's a little heavy. But let's see. Move it a little. Obviously, I was just too tired to move it last night because today I'm okay. All right. Let's see. It's leaving an awful lot of room down there. But that's okay. Awful lot not room there. <laughs> Let's see. I suppose if I Yeah. We'll figure it out. <laughs> that chair's in the way now. See if I can get a bin in there. Let's see, find the light one. Oh, heavy. 
L clamps. Now's the time, right? Let me check. Oh, look what I found. Freaking things to move. No. No clamps. Darn it. Now I find the stupid things. And get you. There we go. I know it's a little crooked. Okay. So at least it's a little warm. Let's see here. Here, we'll do it like this. Sorry, guys. Let's see here. Yeah, that's not gonna work. There. Good enough. Okay.
It's one pain about this desk because it's got cracks in between the boards. So they fill up with crap. Yeah. So I gotta squish it down into there, clean that crap out of the grooves. Clean the butt. I have been all into the true crime podcasts and talking to Kat from Spasmodic Arts. She's also a true crime lover and she has recommended several different uh, shows to me. Making a Murderer? That all took place about half an hour from where I lived in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. That's the Stephen Avery and Brendan um, Avery with the uh, um, Tracy uh, um, she was the victim, worked for Auto Trader and he um, lived, like I said, their salvage yard was about a half an hour up the road from us. And I was telling Kat that the judge that he had, the Sheboygan judge that Stephen had, was the same judge I had. Small world. Um, and yeah, we all know that that didn't turn out well for me. As far as trying to get custody of the kids. So yeah, anyway, so that was interesting. She had also suggested, uh, the Gypsy Rose Blanchard um, turned me on to that, so I started watching a bunch of YouTube videos and stuff about that. That was fascinating. If you haven't heard of that one, that's one where the mother um, basically defrauded people for 20 years or whatever, saying that her daughter was very ill, cancer, and all this other stuff. And she wasn't. And the daughter is gypsy. And the daughter um, ends up killing the mom to escape. True story. So that was fascinating. Watched several YouTube videos on that. Different clips from Dr. Phil. An HBO movie about it. Apparently they've got a movie on Hulu. I don't get Hulu so I can't see that. But... That was all very, very fascinating as well. And then, of course, I'm uh, listening to the podcasts for Morbid um, on Google Podcast, And I find those two girls, women, ladies, very entertaining. Um, I haven't really listened to any other, not too many other, true crime podcasts yet. A few here and there. Um... Like, I know a lot of people have talked about My Favorite Murder and stuff. I tried to listen to that, and I don't know if I was already spoiled from listening to Morbid, because those two do tons of research and give you all kinds of information about the cases, like, really in-depth detail, plus they're funny as hell. Um, not that it's making, you know, light of what happened for the victims. They're making basically fun of the murderer. You have to listen. They make funny cracks here and there. <clears throat> Just very sarcastic. Um, you know, they'll make fun of like the, the investigators and screwing up and things like that. And then they do, you know, modern day murders and they did one, I just listened to one that was from the 19, 1918. So they cover a lot of different stuff. But that's a woman and her niece, early, 30s and early 20s and they are awesome I love them Kat mentioned them also in one of her recent videos the aunt is a autopsy technician 
and the, at least I think it's the ant, that's the autopsy, autopsy cat, I believe so. And then the younger one, the niece, she is a hairdresser. And uh, very, very interesting to listen to. And since there's no video, it's easy to listen while you're doing other stuff and not feeling compelled to have to watch and list stuff. Because I like to see everything, um, you know, facial expressions, all that. I keep rewinding stuff because I want to see every detail when I'm watching something. Which is part of the reason why I find it so hard to do, to um, watch lives, live DP videos, because I want to read all the comments, which means then I can't do anything else at the same time because you can't pause and stay live to rewind and re read something and you miss all kinds of stuff. And I just want to listen while I'm working on something and I can't do that for a live because I have to read everybody's comments. So then I end up watching it, and then I rewatch it again, the replay, so that I can read whatever I missed. So it ends up taking twice as long. So if it's a three-hour live, I end up spending six hours. So I, I can't do it anymore. I'll pop in every once in a while, but I'm not rewatching stuff anymore. And still, even when I pop in, I feel like I can't keep up. I prefer whip and chat myself. That's just me. Um, I'll do these. Uh, I can. Yeah, I don't want to clean them right now, though. I'll do it later. Um, yeah, so anyway. And doing the lives, I find it kind of stressful. I'm trying to read all the comments and then realizing after I rewatch it later on that I missed something and then I feel bad and then I feel like I have to reach out and apologize to that person that I didn't acknowledge them or answer them. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Let's see here. Is... Right. Put... I'm putting the TV remote in here. In this drawer. Because I'll have to remind me later on. Okay, that's clean. Now, I've got, that's all ready to be set up. I, I dusted, I just dusted. You guys couldn't see me, but hopefully you can hear me. Um, okay, so this stuff. All right. Headset. What did I just do? Right, my headset, I have hooks. I hang, I it hangs off the handles there. Okay, so, um, alright, let's keep going. Let's keep going, let's keep going. Alright, here's the computer. Let's see. Put that down here. We're just going to loosely wrap this up so it doesn't all come unwound on us. Could you get a longer internet cord? You could.
here. Look at that short one. Why don't we use that? That would be better. Now, because this is going into long storage, I do not need a fancy piece of Velcro on it. We can just do regular old rubber band. Right. Velcro drawer.
please go back in here. Oop. And stands. here. Looking for the stands for the monitor. Bathroom stuff. That makes sense. Okay. No, privates are in here. Dog grooming. Micros in here.
Bring my over there. She has me to take her pill. Cord for under my desk. Should we fire it up so it works? I got my service dog letter. Okay, that is backward apparently. Ikea! Yay! Check it out. Sure. recording on April Fool's Day. I think there's about four hours worth of footage. It's out of control and it filled up the phone and the SD card. So we're gonna have to start unloading some of this crap on you guys real quick. So we can't record anything else. It's beyond full. So um, yeah, coming up will be IKEA. And, and our experience with that, if you've never been. Yeah.